come to your guide how to run uh, incubation on a modern computer. So first you need to uh, install the game. I have already done that. But as you can see, uh, as it's provided on GOG, it just does not work. So you need to end process tree here. And now I will go through some steps how to make it running. It might look complicated, but it really is not. So first you need to download from the provided links in the video description, this file called sound.dll. It's a small file. So now once that's download it you need to create copy of it i mean never mind copy paste so you need to basically have two and then uh, one will be renamed to just a sound dll yes oh my god Okay, we have that already. The other one will be renamed to audio DLL. I will put both of them on the desk on desktop for now. Now I have to go to the game folder. That's right here and copy both of these files into a game folder and replace the files in the destination okay next step is to download the dx voodoo 1.5 beta 2 from the link that's provided in the video description so it's right here go download it download it open in a folder so you if you don't have some program that can unzip the file you will need to get that but i assume you have that and you extract all the files into into your installation folder for incubation for me it's home bottle is incubation so here you will Extract that, press CS to all. Okay, so we have that. What's next? You visit your incubation uh, folder and go to DG Voodoo Setup.xe and run it. Now I need to make here some. Uh, Settings. I have it here. So we'll basically need to copy these settings. For glide, you go to 32 uh, texture bit depth. Here you will take always wait for at least one vertical sync. Force uh, auto generate minimaps. Force bilinear filtering. Enable, we have that. Uncheck used fast write for unmatching formats. Here you can go all the way. The texture size, resolution, you set your monitor resolution. Use hardware vertex buffer, that needs to be checked. And enable a client gamma ramp, also checked. Now we go to the another and that's in global and I have set direct D9 set 32 bit here and that's it press OK and in game folder go to launcher no not launcher go to settings 
and change this to 3D FX. Now you press save and launch and in the game you can start the game and it definitely works. First action, yes. I just do we have the some skager of show Okay. Yes. Well, it's the, not the best graphics around. Perhaps Perhaps you can play a bit with those, with those various uh, settings there, but the point is uh, the 3DFX acceleration is enabled, so the game does not look that ugly. And so, basic game works, and also, also the expansion will work also. So let's try the expansion. We go for a wilderness mission. Then it. And it works also. So, as you can see, everything works just perfectly. So, hopefully, it was not too confusing. And. You can really do these small, small little steps to make the game running and enjoy this uh, tactical strategy. So, thanks for watching, and if you want to, I have done a playthrough of the uh, Vanilla campaign. It was my first ever, so you can check that out. See you and bye.